Rugby players, here is your match day warm up. So first we need to get warm, so elevate your heart rate by taking a lap of the pitch. Then find yourself a five to 10 meter grid. We're gonna use side shuffles, karaoke, monster kicks, and these leg sweeps along with our hip open and close exercises to really get ourselves nice and loose. We then into leg swings forward and side for hammy and groin, really important for kickers. We're then into our calf pumps for our calves. Now these V rollouts and our lumbar rotations will get your back moving. And then we're into our glute bridges and our single leg glute bridges. Then we're onto our hamstring flicks and quick straight leg raises to get the hamstrings moving. Then we're into our hip flexor rocks as well as our adductor rock backs to open up the groin. And then to target our thoracic spine, we've got thoracic rotations. Then we're finishing with potentiation, which is moving quickly. So we've got jump lands and then single leg jump lands for some landing control. And then finishing with some quick fire compass hops and then some shuttle sprints just to make sure we're nice and warm. Now, if you need to warm up for contact, bear crawls are a great way to start. Make sure you keep your back in that neutral position. Staggered catches. Now, move your hands in different positions. We can go long and short, high and wide. Then we're into our shootouts, which is our heavy falling pattern. So really make sure we're landing and holding. And then ankle taps. So you and your partner, the one partner's got to try and touch the other person's ankles. The other person can't let them. Wrestle to feet, one player is on their belly, the other is on top, don't let the other person roll them. Standing, got to break free of the person's grasp. In our underhook game, one person has to try and win by getting both hands underneath the other's armpits. It's a great way to get nice and warm for rugby.